always so shaky when I use my iPhone to record. Okay, um, wanted to share that I got a haul of old, I call it a haul, it's old makeup. Somebody that I love very dearly gave me a bunch of old makeup. And then following um, a tutorial on the Frugal Crafter, um, you mix, you break up the the eye makeup that's shiny and then you mix it with the gum arabic and then you make a paint similar to twinkling h2o's and that's what i've done i just took um some cheap eye makeup this one i bought from the dollar store i wanted the kinds that are in the pots but where i live i couldn't get that so i just got the ones in the little pan and i mean it was like four bucks for this one not not very cheap up in the cold north <laughs> but anyway um and then i just scraped it out of the pans into there and then i took and added um various shimmery makeups that have obviously mica or something in them some kind of mineral in there that makes them so shiny and added a bit there and you know, various shiny old makeup that's out of um, the best before date, past the best before date, and added that all in there. And then I put in the drops of gum arabic in there. And then I found that a um, um, chopstick. I saved these because they seem to come in handy. Um, was pretty good to to uh, break the little pieces apart and then to stir it and then to Put it back into the container. I'm going to use just this um, Little piece of cardstock little waste cardstock I could cut it into a little spoon just spoon it in there So that's what I'll do Put it back in there, and then the whole idea is that you you would let that dry. I think I added too much, but um, I'm going to fumble along, blunder along ahead, and then just go right ahead and do it, and see how it turns out. And then I'm going to put them right straight back into this, um, the little pans. And according to the tutorial that I saw online, um, you just leave that to dry and then you reconstitute it, you liquefy it, whatever, with some water when you're ready to, when you're ready to use it. So I'm going to keep doing that. and. Then I should have a little, if all goes well, I should have a little pan of paints that I can, can use. Particularly like this one, it's very shimmery. And I've been wanting some shimmery paints, so I'll see how this does in the future. Well, it's not the neatest, but I'm going to See how that does for me. I keep thinking I've added a bit too much there and I think I have. But I'm going to let it dry and then try it out. So I think that um, anywhere I can make my own um, supplies I will do that because it gets pretty costly all right I'm just gonna leave that to oops to to dry and then possibly clean up the little area there and I think it would probably be prudent to put a little strip of tape on there that says uh, paints to be used for paints or something just to Remind myself not to put it on my eyes. <laughs> okay, and then I thought I would just try it out. 
No, oh, I don't have a paintbrush handy, but I guess I can just do it with the uh, that little painty thing that came with it. Not painty thing, it's um, the little applicator that comes with uh, eye makeup. <clears throat> Certainly very vibrant, bold, pretty color. I guess I should have been more prepared and had some um, water here. I don't have any handy, but that gives me a good idea of what it's going to look like. Um, there's not a ton of shimmer with that one, but I could probably add, um, I could probably add some, thank you dear, I could add some um, what is that shimmery stuff? As usual, I have brain freeze when I'm trying to film something. Um, pearls. <laughs> something pearls. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're screaming at me right now to say whatever, but just any product that has uh, like mica powder or anything, you could probably add it to make it a bit more shimmery. Okay. Well, that's not the best brush for it. But. Oh, I don't really know how that's going to dry, but um, I guess I'll find that out. I'm gonna try the, um, the gold. So the whole idea then is to uh, let this dry and then Reconstitute it with some water, and you have. Sorry if I'm reiterating what I already said, but I'm going to be thrilled if this works. Because, um, you know, it's pretty costly for a small little pot of. Uh, I remember that for three tiny little pots, uh, not even as big as these makeup ones. I paid $21 Canadian and you know if I wanted um, nine or ten different colors that gets to be kind of costly you know so anyway I can stretch my crafting dollar then I'm going to do that um, just thought I would share this uh, this little venture that I'm trying. <laughs> 